trying to stop this suspicious vehicle he's uh, failing to yield so it's a uh, low mile an hour pursuit right now we have uh, a couple units trying to get in position ahead of this vehicle they're gonna try to set up some spike strips to try to uh, deflate the guy's tires that way you come to a stop a little bit quicker hopefully they hit I'm not unsure but we get a gigantic wall down here so this is probably gonna be a felony stop at some point Let's see what happens here They have more spike strips out, so hopefully you hit them, and hopefully you hit them, and the wheels will uh, start to deflate. And yep, his tires are out, so we have a good, uh, good strips. The the spike strips worked, so the other unit here was trying to slow him down but it's not apparently working too well. He's uh, losing parts of his tires. Ah, he just stuck a weapon out the window. He just fired the weapon. You forever. No, I stand up. I didn't know who was standing. You didn't know we were the police. No, I get out. Get out. out. The police have been filmed. Be over two. Just one. one. Just one. Okay. Right. Hey, you're right. Here we got him. I just wanted to shut up. Myself. Shut up. Man, all you gotta do is stop. What's the problem? Because you I've been you did shoot at me. Pull me over. No, sir. I shot that way. I wanted to well, shoot why, why would you even shoot the gun? That's actually, not smart. It actually, it was an accident. An accident. But not, I don't know what to so, say. So how can we just didn't open your door? I've been getting set up lately. And I saw you guys. I didn't know who you guys were. What you want to do? Everybody's been trying to hit me. We'll just do the the eluding, discharging a firearm just now. Yeah, he's, he even said he fired it. I can't feel my hand. Put it on too tight. Well, here, here, I'll check him for you real quick. Well, it's, it's because you were uncooperative and he had to put them on a certain way, all right? But they are, I can fit a finger in between them. Not that, sir. Try to sit. Sir, look at my handcuffs. And how am I supposed to trust you guys when you guys are me over, too? Okay, I don't know who you guys are. Hey, buddy. Look at this. Come on out. Come out of the car. Come out of the car. Come out of the car for a minute. I can't feel my thumb. Hey, trooper. I'm just, I'm just going to switch the cuffs around. Is that cool? I'm going to take this hand out. Do not resist. I'm not you understand? Do anything, sir. I wanted to shoot myself. Just, I didn't stick know the hand on top of your head. I don't know who to trust. Well, we're the police. Well, you can definitely the police trust us. Pull me over. And I didn't know who you guys were. <sighs> who are you supposed to trust? Lights and siren, man. Come on now. Yeah, you and the ones with the lights and sirens are bad. Too many damn crooked cops. All right, go and place your hands behind your back. All right. Sir. Both hands. Oh, wrong with my thumb. So what's the deal, man? I can't feel my thumb. Okay, first off, we run your plate. The only reason why I was going to stop you is because your plate was coming back no match out of California. Well, I had a gun in the car for protection. Are you just working well, if you have up? a gun for protection, that's fine. It's the no, state of Nevada. Well, then there you go. Maybe you shouldn't have had it in the car then. Well, I got to protect myself. All right. Well, go ahead and have a seat in this vehicle here. We're going to figure out what's going my on. Hand? Yeah, this is a lot better. You can sit sideways, all right? When we were getting ready to stop him here, he fired a couple rounds, it looked like, out the sunroof. So we're going to look in the vehicle here and see if we can't locate the weapon that he was using. 
There, there it is, right on the floorboard, right in front of the driver's seat. It actually looks like it might have jammed. Probably the reason why nobody was firing at us. He had a couple warrants out of Clark County and California, so it's another good job. You haven't had any idea that that gun was in there? No, I, no, no, I haven't. Because your friend, the girl in the front seat, told us the truth. We got a call, female causing a disturbance at an address down here. By premise history, there may be a uh, injunction, trespass warning, something like that, but we can't be sure because we don't, we don't have any names really at this point. You sharing? Yes. Okay, you got any ID on you, Sharon? Yes, I do. Is there a, there a uh, trespass warning or something for you here? Mm -hmm. Careful now. How much you had to drink tonight? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Uh, you still live on Eagle? Yeah. I live in the woods. What, you live in the woods? Right gone, brother. Do me a favor, Sharon. Sit right down on this right here. Just sit right down there for me, please. She throw them over to my yard, throwing beer cans at me and everything else. And I'm like, then she's hitting my old lady with beer cans and everything else. And I'm like, I looked over here and I'm like, what? So I rode my lawnmower back over here. Next thing you know, she's. All right, she tore the fence down? I literally watched her tear it down. We're all facing the street right here. All right. Yeah. You want to press charges for criminal mischief? Yeah. Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. Yes, all I right, do. You fill out a statement saying that you saw her do this and that's what she did? Yes, I will. All right, let me get some paperwork together. I can read and we'll write right fluently. All right, be right back with you, all right? Not a problem. Why'd you tear the fence down? Why'd well, I tear the fence down? Yeah. On my heart, I don't tear no one. That bitch did this fence. I did never do that. You didn't my do that? Life. You didn't she do that? She did that with Who's a car it? and a truck. She did it with a car? I don't know. Is what they told me. OK. Well, Sit tight, Sharon. Stupid. What kind of restraining order did you get? Out of my house. I mean, out of my yard, away from me, 500 feet, whatever, you know, she rides by okay, here. Okay, but you didn't actually go down to the courthouse and apply for one and everything? No. Because we don't have any record of a oh, trespass man. warning being issued for here or anything. We, she's got one down the street, but no, Jeez. for here. But we'll oh, make sure my. she has that. Yay! Sharon. Yay! Yay! Hey. Well, I, Yay! Hey. Get from him. Sit down. Sit down. Are you ready for him? Sit down. That's his house. You need to sit he down. He lives in my house. Listen to me. You need to it sit down. Get you me. need to sit down you. and chill out. Why are you sitting there and getting my house, man? What's going on, big dog? Well, I'd say, if nothing else, we got disorder. I'll get Rick out here. Okay. Get Rick out here. I, I, th Rick. I think you could probably come up no, it's no problem. with that one. Rick. Right. Um, yeah, he's laughing. What'd I tell you? OK. Are you ready for him? Put Go ahead and... He got to come out there. Look at what he's doing. Stand up. He's got, he's got my boxes, man. He's in my box. He's in my box. Come on. He takes my Okay. Well, you won't sit down and you won't listen. So now you're going to be put in cuffs, OK? Uh, now he's in cuffs. You know what? You're dying, you slut. Rick. If you don't sit still, you're, you're getting a purse. Yeah. Come on. Rick. Come on. Come on. You bet me. You're laughing. You're laughing. I'm laughing. I'm going to kill you. No way. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. No. Get out of those cups. They're, 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 Her hands are small. Do you, I got let me get, get my Smith cups hurt. right there. I ain't going to hurt get, get my Smith cups. I'm not going to hurt you. ain't going to. Please. You got her, Bob? Yeah, I got her. I got, small, I got smaller you size cups. You ain't going to do that. I love my little self. I never hurt you. Believe my heart. I'm an officer. Right here. Relax, Sharon. I never hurt nobody. Relax. Relax. Don't. Relax. You, Ben, and me, and you, and you know what you are? Yeah, that's right, you, Ben. Stop trying you to kick. No Keep your mouth nobody. shut. You face. Hush. I know. Excuse me. OK, Sharon, let's step up like a lady. No, those are balls. Step up. That's it. All the way. All the right. way. One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to walk to the back seat. Relax. Excuse me. Sharon, sit down. Hey. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in now. Yeah, bro. I got to breathe. I hate Jack. I hate Jack. Her wrist like that. My, my small cuffs were yeah. all the way to the last notch. So living in the woods will do that to you.
He's trying to catch up to a guy on a bike. So far, he crossed six lanes of traffic. And he stopped finally. Where are you going? Come here. Why are you pedaling across six lanes of traffic when you see me? Here, put your hands behind your back real quick. Pop together. You have been arrested? No, sir. Never in your whole life? Not in my whole life. Wow, that's pretty good. No, I'm just a cab driver. Oh! Whoa! Get out of the way! Uh, one DP-17. 410 driver, just 401 to Karen and Maryland. He's now eastbound Karen, probably 100 miles an hour. Copy. Zip 10, 1, 2, 3, See, he had it going here. Monitoring. Copy. I'm just going to ATL for a bit. That's it. Could be it. It has fresh water on it. Well, this is the car, or the truck we saw. It actually doesn't have much front end damage at all. We'll run the plate, see if it comes back as, uh, as stolen. It would have been nice to find a minute. Control 1 DP-17. I think we found it. We're going to quick do an ATL around this parking lot and attempt to locate whoever was driving it. We have a couple more units coming from uh, southeast. We have some other units coming from south central. What do you drive? Where are you coming from? Because I have a feeling that you're who I'm looking for, so... I'm not who you're The truth looking. shall set you free. Nothing? I wasn't driving that. Oh, so you are involved. No, I'm not involved. Well, apparently you have to know something, otherwise you wouldn't have said I'm not driving that. Not Here, put your hands behind your back. What's going on? Please, I'm not driving it. Well, then you're going to talk to me really quick, and we're going to figure out what's going on. OK? What's going on? Here, look at me. Look at me. I am looking at you. OK. I was at a bar. I was drinking, but okay. I wasn't driving that car. Who yet. was driving it? She's down the street. Apparently, the other female just ran this way. Another girl. I don't need this. I'm trying to be a cop. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You weren't driving. You're not in trouble, but still. It's your truck, correct? It is registered. Okay, under yeah, it's your truck. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, here's the deal. You um, you took out a, a fire hydrant. No, I didn't. Okay, 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 driving. okay. The driver took the other girl, Cynthia, Cynthia, right? Cynthia took out a fire hydrant, a, killed a palm tree, and hit a rock. Okay, that's all. Thank that's God. all. Thank God. Okay, just stay there for a second, okay, hon? Is this her? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, what happened? What do you mean what happened? Here, sit in there. Don't get out. No, 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 no. We got in an argument. But okay. I left the car. Maria was driving. Start at the beginning. <sighs> we were coming home from the club. Okay. Me, Maria, and Misty. And Misty. Okay. okay. Maria was driving. Okay. All right. Uh, about. Where's Maria at? I have no idea. She took off. Okay, where was Maria at? Maria doesn't exist. So it was just you two in the car? Yes, it was. Okay. I will write a voluntary statement on that. That Cynthia was driving? Yes, I will, because this is my life. This is my career. Sit down, sit down. This is my career. <laughs> sit down. Don't eat that bitch. Who was driving? Was this other person driving? Yes, Maria. Is she so going? Maria yes, sir. was the driver. Yes, sir, but I will admit to it. Just because she's covering up, that's okay. I don't want her getting in trouble. She does have a future, hopefully, and I don't want to that up, so I will admit to anything I have to, just to let her go. Where were you sitting in the vehicle? I guess I'm the driver. I can't really say if that's what she's saying, but that's what I'm... I'm asking you if you no, are. No, sir, I, I'm telling you. Just, I'm going to admit to being the driver. Okay. All right, put your feet back in. Yes, sir. Drinking and driving and fighting, not a good combination. All right, we're going to go back up a unit at CVS parking lot. He's, uh... Oh, uh, with a disturbance between a uh, husband and a wife, which is right around the corner. They're in a fight now. Get out, help them out. Call for pursuit! Call for pursuit! Red Stilter! I got you, buddy. I got you. Oh, you're mine. Yeah. <laughs>
Hide your back. Hey, I have to do it. Oh, you got me. Oh, it's broke. Oh, 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 man. 220. Bite me out 1015. That's your ID. She's 29 P. Her name is Lynn Bachelor. She's 29 P. Where's she at? I run her in 1015 or she's in the back of my car. Okay. Um, he wouldn't sit still. I am raising my hands. <laughs> he wouldn't sit Where? still. He was trying to get into the front seat of my car, so I grabbed him. And he actively started oh, oh, pulling my away. wrist. My left right, wrist. He actively started pulling away, so roll over on your butt. Sure. I'm not going to. Roll over on your butt. I'm trying to. Oh, my back. Sit up on your butt. Oh. Stand up. Stand up. Ah. Ah. Okay. You loosen me a little. Yeah, I'll adjust him in a second. Oh, my My ass. Oh. You know what the funny thing is? I was just getting ready to set you free. And you kept jumping around like that. Why'd you run? You got some dope in the car? Dope in the car? Shh. Oh, sorry. Don't raise your voice. You'll no, catch I... another charge that way. No, I don't mean it. Huh? No, I got no damn dope. But why are you running? Kurt, I just want to say goodbye to my wife. I love her. Yes. I pay you to appear. Ow! Ah! You just ran from us? Now you're no, now I you're ran from you hurt? because the tough guy here. Go down to see you, partner. Flip your shoes in. His girlfriend's going for a warrant. The girlfriend has a warrant. Did he not want her to go, or what was the deal? She got arrested for a failure to appear, like a hundred dollar bond. Right. These were under her seat, so I asked who these are, and he says, "Oh, those are hers." He's throwing his hands around. I told him, "You need to calm down and stay seated." Well, I pull that bag out, and right at that time, my door's open. And he starts leaning his car, starting to yell towards his girl in my driver's side door. So I went over there and went to go hands on. He started actively pulling away. As soon as uh, we took a hand off of him, he decided he's going to try to flee. In this bag here, follow it down. He got a bunch of residue in yeah. it, cocaine or meth. Yeah. Something. Starting to that's get her bag. Yeah, he said it was her bag. He's like, "Oh, what's in there? What's in there? Let me see." Yeah, that's her bag. Yeah. Hey there. How long have you guys been married? Almost two years. Almost two years. What's his, What's the matter with him? Why is he so angry? He's had a lot of problems. Yeah? What kind of problems? His father just died. His mom's retarded. She's retarded? She's mentally retarded. We had to move our business. Do you want to say goodbye to him? That's all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm back. Well, let me explain. No, no, I just not used to get my ass kicked. Let me, let me ask you a couple ah. things, man. Sure, yeah. I pull up, and you're fighting with the deputies. No, 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 I wasn't fighting with what would you, them. What were you call it then? What were you doing with them? No, I was, uh, no, listen, I swear on my mother, I wasn't fighting with him. He was getting a little antsy, you know, and I understand that. Mm -hmm. I was shopping for... All right, but um, at what point did you decide you needed to run? Why, why would you want to run? Oh, but first of all, he thought that I had raised my hand to his deputy. Okay. When, uh, when I did was, like, kind of, you know, raised my hands, like... You know, how would you raise your hand? Like, what's going on? Like, you know, disbelief? All right, man. Well, here's the deal. You know why you're going to jail tonight, right? Uh, resisting arrest or, uh... Well, resisting arrest, battery on law enforcement officer. Battery? I didn't touch no one, though. Yeah, right? you did. Who? Oh, Those two officers over there. When I, I pulled did not up, touch that okay. woman, man. Well, that we're guy? Not, we're right. not going to debate it here. No, you're right. I did. You can I debate did. it in the courtroom. Okay. You understand? Uh, we've just been dispatched on a call. Uh, details of the call are as the PR call said the vehicle has been parked at the gas pump for the past four hours. Uh, subject may be highly intoxicated. Wow, where'd your shoes go, buddy? They're in the car. I got 80 mile drive ahead of How long have you been um, out in this car here? How long have I been out in the cars? Yeah, in other words, how long have you been sitting right here? Right here. I'm gonna be up 10 minutes looking for my keys. 10 minutes? Looking for my keys. So you've and my ID. You've only been here 10 minutes. The lady inside says you've been here four hours. No, 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 that's not me. Okay, don't move. We talked about I, I, I have proof. It was somebody different? I have proof. Okay, so if the cameras say you've been here four hours, that would surprise you? Um, uh, there's no way I could be at the cameras for four hours. What time is it right now? I left at 8. You tell me. You left your house at 8.30? What time do you think it is right now? What time do I think it is? Um, 
About 9.30 maybe? Mm, try again. 10. 11.45 a.m. Okay, it's 11.45 yeah. a.m. Yeah. All right, well... Um, you know, it's parking, I'm not sure. There's only one way to explain that, is that, you know, I left when I could. I, I left when I could. Will you, can you call the person I was at? No, no. You're telling me this is your mother's car? This is my mother's car. Okay. Can you see Officer Baker found something? Uh, we have several unknown one type of pills. There's no label on it. Nothing to indicate that it's a prescription of any type. Well, that's probably what's contributing to this problem here right now. Well, what happened to the label that generally comes on I, prescription pill bottles? The only other label I had was a, another label that I had to rip off the name because it wasn't my mother's name. Okay, well, how did you get a prescription that didn't belong to your mother? That was because I was consolidating the bottles to bring down as less as possible. Consolidating the bottles? Yes. And one of those bottles didn't have your mother's name on it? Yes. And in so you were bottle. taking pills that didn't have her name and mixing it with the pills I wasn't that. I taking them. Well, who are you consolidating them. for? Her pain. Okay, so you're giving her pills that aren't even prescribed to her? Um. So yes or no? Yes, I am. Okay. You're a pharmacist of some type now. No, I'm not a pharmacist. What do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Well, actually, for 13 years, I was a professional musician. Okay. And a classical musician. I went to college. I have a degree. All right. With the Las Vegas Philharmonic, I taught everything. My mother got in a very bad accident. Ever since then, my main focus is her. Her finances. Do you do impersonations of any type? Or you know she got makeup on right now? I don't have any makeup on right now. We have lipstick on your lips. There is no lipstick on my lips. There's chapstick on my lips. Is that, oh, chapstick? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Maybe my lips are chapped. Stand here for a second, okay? You just stand there, relax for a minute, okay? The real issue here is this. Okay, you got a drug problem, okay? I do. You've been here for the past four hours, and you think that you've only I've been here for about an hour. I've been here for four hours. Okay, well, I'm not here to debate that. Okay, we've got a witness that plays here for the past four hours. Secondly, you're unable to find your keys. Okay. You're in the car. You All didn't right, give me a chance to look. And you, you had no idea where your keys were. Thankfully, you had no idea where your keys were because you probably might have hurt somebody. Check the cameras. Okay. I've not been here for four hours. As a result of all these things, we're going to take you to jail. Okay. Like, take a seat in the car. Can I get shoes on? Uh, get in the car and we'll try to accommodate you afterwards, okay? Stacey gets her nine, quarter to nine. Well, when I came up, he was in the car putting on lipstick, so uh, yeah. the story's not matching. Not at all. Well, he's going for a felony, so all right. we're good here. Good deal. You need me for anything else? No, all right. thank you. I'm going to go Appreciate help with this bank robbery. That's the that's same guy. That's the individual you saw in the car? Four yes, hours? Is. Yeah. You've been here for quite a while. I what don't know what I... you're doing out there, but... Uh -huh. Out here? Yeah, you were sitting right there. I was thumbing through my car before I put my gas. I paid for my gas. I don't know about that. I don't okay. think you did. Uh, these were the keys, or this is the key, that he was unable to find for the past four hours, right here on the roof. It's amazing what drugs would do to your mind. Okay, we're in the area where there's a lot of uh, stolen cars that are dumped here, and so we, we just had a car pass us, and uh, it's taken off on us on a high rate of speed, so we're gonna try and catch up to it. Okay, 24 x-ray speeds are about 80. He's uh, passing vehicles on the shoulder. It's actually a silver sedan. We haven't been close enough yet to catch a plate. Uh, just past Myrtle. Still uh, northbound, approaching walk. I'm getting northbound, fire approaching walk. Approaching. On the right shoulder. Okay, we're gonna go southbound walk. Okay, approaching Myrtle, lights red, it's gonna be passing on the right. 901, 901. Get your hands up! Okay, hands up! Get your hands up! I want you to pop the door from the outside with your left hand. Keep your other hand up. Step out. Look at me. Pull your shirt up. Turn around. Keep turning. Stop. Take a step to your left. Back. Back. Hands your head. 
Give me also the card. Last year. Is anybody hurt? She's got kids in the car. And okay. In car, so she's All right. Drinking. We got a we got an ambulance coming just to check your kids. Okay. Okay. You okay, sweetie? You okay. You okay, buddy? Yeah. All right. Hey, ma'am. You okay? Yeah, I flew rubber. Okay, come on back over here. I got what I got is I got the medics are coming just as a precaution to check your kids out. Okay. What's your name? Tara. Tara. You okay? Mom. So this guy was like in a high speed chase and he slammed in the back of us just now. <laughs> he tried to, to evade us until we got on this very busy street here. No one's hurt. Hey, what's your name, man? Preston. 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 Um, are you on parole? Yeah. Okay. You want it right now? You large? Yeah, I would have been this week. Okay. I just want to ask you something here. Because we, I mean, we were going pretty fast around these corners, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, why were you running? Was it just because you were at large or? Needles. I mean, you look a little strung out to me, but yeah, I've, been up, I've been awake eight days. Why am I around? What are you shooting with the needles, meth or? Yeah, meth. Yeah. I'm pretty... I mean, I'm in the car. It might not be stolen yet, but I'm, it's, it would have been tonight. Oh, okay. So how long you had that car? I've I seen it. I've been seeing it sit there about four days, so I just took it. You took it today, and then we're gonna go steal another car. What are we gonna do? Man, I'm gonna do, go do me a shot of crack. Oh, uh, you had the needles loaded up, huh? One of them was. Where are we going to do that at? Right there in the back corner, right there. Oh, OK. Gotcha. Just pull over so, right there and woo. You just changed your mind when you saw the uh, cop car, or what? Right. The gap looked bigger, man, but it seemed like the cars were. Yeah. No, I hear you, man, but, but you understand. I mean, I know you're motivated. You don't want to go to jail and all that stuff, but, but check it out, man. This You can't pick a busier street. I know. I still got a. There were three. My heart, bro. You're just looking at the gap, huh? Man, I mean, I, my eyes, everything was fuzzy, dog. I yeah. didn't know. Yeah. There were three little kids in that car. Yeah, I mean, I don't, the parents, man, they're just, they're crying and they're, you know, I mean, everybody's concerned over there, but, uh, you know, we got the medics here. Everything hopefully will turn out okay, man. How you feel about that? Man, I feel like, bro, uh, but. What can I say? I, I, I did what I did. I say sorry a million times. It ain't gonna change what's been done. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah. been a lot worse. Huh? Okay, you're not injured at all, huh? Yeah. Grand Theft Auto is his thing. I'm just glad that nobody got hurt. My dad's going crazy. Look, threw rocks all in my face. He's stuck on crack again. He's trash. He punched you in the face. Yes, he did. I want him to go to jail. The truck just busted this light right here, doing about 65 and a 30. We're going to see if he'll stop for us. Nope, he's going to run on us. George 312, I got one running on me. Northbound 1700, going to be a dark pickup. I don't have the tag on it yet. He just busted this light. Eastbound Avenue G. Bailing out in the yard. We're in the residence. In the residence. Hey, 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 get back up. Get in the living room. I got him inside the residence. Barricaded in the door. Get down on the ground. Get out on the ground. Get out on the ground. Get on the ground. It's all right, man. It's all right. Okay. Get, get on get the ground. I don't know. Get, get on the ground. Hey, hey, hey. Get on the ground. Get the baby. I don't know. Get on the ground. Okay. Put your hands up. 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 Put your hands up.
Put your hands behind your back. All right. Step back. All right. No. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got him in custody. Oh, I'm sorry, man. 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 I know I'm okay. He ran in, but locked himself in the door. It's okay. And then uh, flushed it down the toilet. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Force on him going to be back home and rushing traffic. You speak English? I do, bro. Why'd you run? Oh, I got a problem, man, and I the one. You know. What kind of dope did you flush down the toilet? Uh, huh? I don't flush the toilet. What kind of problems do you have? Oh, I got... Other than being drunk and stupid. Mm -hmm. Huh? I drunk him like a stupid man. You could have crashed into somebody. You almost took somebody out at the intersection at Beach and Avenue J. You're not paying attention? Now you're going to jail. I'm taking your car. And you... It's not my car. I don't care whose it is. It's mine now. Have a seat in there. I'll baton him. Looks like he's uh, have an active warrant for his arrest for possession of marijuana as well as uh, local warrants. Did y'all confirm on him? Yes. That kind of stands to reason. Uh, you can smell a little bit of weed in the car. And when he tried to lock himself in the bathroom, he was flushing the baggies. After I kicked the door, he had one foot on it. And I could see him pitching them into it, still flushing it. I should have got her a little bit sooner. It was like a good minute or two off. But I almost had him at the door. <laughs> One of the people in our sector is uh, in pursuit of a yellow Pontiac Firebird right now that's at a high rate of speed coming into oncoming traffic. We're going to try to get into the area and become involved in the pursuit or stop stick the vehicle. It's probably going to pass in front of us here. There it is. There it is. Turned again. Continuing 3 4 in Garfield southbound. Let's move, let's move into this. Stop, 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 we were not involved in a chase. We're northbound in an alley. Uh, in the house. <laughs> OK, we're going to need to set up a perimeter. Uh, also need a car to 5-3 intrus to check on injuries at the collision. We've located a uh, large amount of marijuana behind the uh, driver's seat. It's definitely going to be in the, uh, the felony level range of, of marijuana. Obviously not for personal use. And we have a gun in the car, too. It appears to be a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber handgun. We're close in the area. They're saying that he's ran eastbound. Canines tracked him to the back of a dump truck. So we're right here. We're going to get out and see what we got. Is he in there? Yeah. Which, which way are you guys bringing him out? Uh, Robert. Down on the ground. Down the ground. All the way down. On a we are 40 caliber. <laughs> <laughs> They've already patting down, sir. Not you driving. Yeah, 148. All right, roll over. Who said anything about? Sit up. All the way up. 
clarification. What are you driving? All right, roll up on your knee. We're going to rock you out here to the street. You got ID on you or anything? No. What's your name? Duan. Duan? Face the wagon, man. Where'd your buddy go? I don't know. Whose car is that? His friend's. His friend's car? His so it's friend. not your car, it's not his car? Oh. Look at that. That's Wands. Wands? Oh, one zero zero. You work anywhere, Dwayne? No. Dwayne, how do you make your money? Lift your left foot. Look this. What's that? I like girls. That's what it is. They pay me. Girls pay you? <laughs> yeah. You're a you like girls, love? girls pay you. At what point do you see the police behind you? Because I was asleep. You were asleep? I'm on probation. What are you on probation for? Uh, eluding the police. Eluding? <laughs> Running from the police? I told him, dog. You tried to get him to stop? Yes. What's his name? Is it Philip? What kind of car is it for? Uh, Pontiac Firebird. Yeah. You got his insurance card in your pocket. You sure that isn't your card? You got an insurance card to a vehicle that just ran from the police in your pocket. All right? That doesn't look good. All right, we're going to have somebody drive by here in a second, take a look at you, and they're going to tell us whether or not you're driving that car or not. I think 41 to 143. I was driving, and then out of the corner of my eye, I see this yellow Pontiac. He hit me and jumped out of the car and ran away. A second. OK. Can you move him forward a little bit? Bring him up this way. Yeah, that's him. That's him? OK. You can go ahead and load him up. All right, there's guns in the car, and there's drugs in the car. All right, we're going to end up seizing your money. You'll be arrested for felony eluding and the drugs. These guys have no regard for other people's lives, and they were lucky to get this guy in custody before he killed somebody. We're going to a uh, traffic unit on a motorcycle is trying to pull over a drunk driver who's refusing to stop. He's activated his lights and sirens. He's not stopping it. So we're going to head that way to assist them. OK, I see the, I see the car coming this way. The car's coming this way. It's about to pass us. OK, we're going to flip a U-turn up here. Head back and follow the vehicle from a distance. Air 5, I copy. Do you have that vehicle in sight? If there's any unit continuing code, discontinue code. Air 5 has sighted the vehicle. I think that's not here. Copy. No units in pursuit. Okay, we're not we're not in pursuit right now. This car just refuses to stop. Our policy doesn't allow us to pursue. He's extremely drunk. Doesn't seem to want to stop. So we'll follow from a distance for a little while, and uh, hopefully she'll stop, and this will come to a peaceful conclusion, and nobody will be hurt. Control one right one. The vehicle just hit an orange cone on the side of Terrible's Casino. We're still eastbound on Flamingo. We'd like to intercept this car before it heads toward Las Vegas Boulevard where there's a lot of pedestrian traffic, and we'd hate to have a drunk driver on Las Vegas Boulevard. That's not going to be good. And uh, we're still going. Five. Just trying to get off to his house. We're all uh, we're all shut down. Five. Just all right, she's taking a right turn, taking a right turn onto Swenson. She's about a quarter mile ahead of me. There's a, a few motorcycle officers behind me and another patrol unit uh, right over to the left of me. Mel, give the car some distance. Give the car some distance, Mel. What was the last traffic? Yeah, they wanted to try to the vehicle, your call sign. She's going about 37, 38 miles an hour. Uh, the, good. the other unit just initiated a pursuit, a mobilization technique called the pit. Come out of the car, miss. Good job, man. Ma'am, stay right there, all right? You endangered so many people. Why would you not stop? The police were behind you. Why would you not stop? Scared. What are you running from? Uh, do you have any warrants? No, I don't have no warrants. Have you been drinking? Well, let me, you know what you just did to yourself? Now you're going to go to jail, definitely. You all right? Do you need medical attention? Okay. Listen, I know the officer explained it. You understand? I was kind of dangerous. 
We put a lot of people in danger. Like, there's really no reason for that. Well, you I seem understand. like a nice young lady, but we got to do what we have to do. You understand that? Right? I understand that. Right, I have no okay. All right, no. I'm just going to have you stand here for a few minutes. And you really we'll endangered his life on a motorcycle. Wait, I'm just asking, what, what have the police done to you that you're afraid? No, I, just, I never been stopped before. I didn't want to have a bad record. You've never been stopped by the police before? Never. So you figured time. your first time you should run? <laughs> In a way, kind of like that. Not totally like that. But like I said, you just bought yourself a ticket to go to jail now for doing that. That was really not a smart move. I understand that. Okay. Do me a favor, just stand right here on the side of the patrol car. Next to your beer. I really think she didn't hit this car. Hey, Melanie? Melanie? You, you were right behind the car and I was right behind you. Yes. So you just decided the car was going, what, 39, 38 miles an hour? Yes, we've been in and out. She ran about eight traffic lights. She would have killed somebody, I think, if she kept Absolutely. going. Absolutely. Well, I was concerned she was going to go towards the strip. So now the traffic units are going to give her a field sobriety test or a breath test right here on the scene. She's uh, most likely going to be booked for uh, driving under the influence, obstructing, and I'm sure a bunch of other traffic violations for failing to stop. I already opened it. Right, come on, honey, let's go. Come on, miss. I'm going to go right? sit here in the back of the car, okay? Right, come on over, miss. Okay? You feeling all right? Okay, listen, uh, this is your first time going to jail. Uh, I know it's not going to be the most pleasant experience, but listen, all you got to do is listen to what they tell you there, follow the rules, and you'll be out probably within a day or two. It's not going to take too long, okay? okay? All right, so we want you to sit down, huh? And thank you for being so cooperative. Remember, it's your first time in jail, so it's not going to be that bad, okay? Just listen to what they have to tell you, and uh, it'll be over. Okay, thank you. They had a uh, armed burglary with a weapon, and there's supposedly multiple suspects in the vehicle they just stopped, so we're going to see if we can get to them, make sure they're doing all right. Paul, well, go ahead, give me better information, man. Where's he at in the water? Three or five, do we only have one suspect out running, and do we have another one detained? We've only got one detained, and the other one's in a pond right next to the car. No. I'm in Lake Washington. I'm at the cars now. Greg, where you at? Okay, look over to my flashlight. See the uh, flashlight over here? Where are they at? I see ya! Where, where, where? I see him, I see him. Get out of the water, come to us. This side. Come right here to me. I'm going in that No, I'm going Watch with my you. gun belt. Watch my gun belt, got it. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Steve, Steve. Wallet. Then come here. Put him up now. Put him up in the water. We're coming in for you. All right, man. All right, all right, all right. We're coming in for you. You go under? I got him. I'm not done yet. I got him. If he stay, if he continues, just let him go. I'll put the dog on him. Okay, stand up. You stand up? No, I can't stand up. Right. You can't stand up. Come on. Boy, oh, watch him. Watch him. Good boy. Watch him. Okay, it's okay, Bill. Yes. Hold on, hold on. 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 Here. Give me your hand. Put it behind your back. Here, bring him up out of the water. No, we'll just get Real. your head up. Why you watch that arm. Watch that arm, dude. Why you trying to drip? Your hand will hurt you. Yep. Got it. Get up. Come on. Stand up. I'm dude. trying to, Tom. Dog. Dog. I ain't the dog. dog. Hold him right there. I need to touch him. We're going to walk him back or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Somebody get that phone right here. Your, your money's going. Man, get my money, man. Dude. 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 So what was going on tonight? This is what happened. I got pulled over and then homeboys tell me to get out get out. I'm showing I got my information in my hand, my registration and my insurance, holding it in my hand out the window. And homeboy runs, and then I'm still standing there watching both of y'all cops run after him and me just standing there. It wasn't by me. Myself. We were on our way here, man. I, I you stood already there. Had I stood, we got here. I don't know why he ran, they but they, they said he had a warrant or something. But I ain't, I ain't done nothing. Bring a witness, whatever you got to do. I'm, I'm, I can prove I'm legal. I ain't done nothing wrong. 
Right. I'll sit back at the car until y'all get this settled. Right. What's your name? Thanks for, uh... I ain't, I ain't done nothing wrong. Though. As long as you ain't done nothing wrong, you're good in my book. Why'd you run? <laughs> Why'd you run? Because of the warrant? Yes, sir. What's the warrant for? VOP. VOP? Felony or misdemeanor VOP? Felony. What kind of felony did you commit? Um... I got out of prison and I didn't report to probation. I don't know why you resist us coming out of the water. You had no more, but you had four or five deputies plus a dog. I was dying. I was drowning. Well, that's why I came over and pulled you up out of the water to keep me from drowning. That's why they were trying to hold you up. You kept on fighting. I wasn't fighting. I was just trying to get my breath, sir. I understand. I ain't. Did you run because of the warrant or because of what you did earlier today? What I did earlier. Pick ahead and hop in the back for me. I ain't did nothing earlier. Go ahead and hop in the back, boss. Might have to do it earlier. <laughs> Sliding there, like I said, we ain't gonna put no air on so you keep warm, okay? So basically, he's saying he had no involvement in the burglary up in Canaveral, but he is on felony probation, and this is an on site violation because of resisting without violence. So, so he'll go to jail. Stop, 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 stop. Large amount of marijuana behind the driver's seat. I like girls. That's what they do. They pay me. The girls pay you? <laughs> yeah. Right now, we're gonna be en route to a uh, domestic. We've already got two officers arrived. We're unsure of the details, so we're just going by there and assist them in resolving that problem. Two, John. You put me out, two, John. Thirty-four, please. Now I broke the door in the back end, getting into my house because I don't want her throwing all my tools away. What's the situation? You guys get a divorce? And get uh, hopefully, it's Saturday. I was sicker than a dog. There's rat poison in the trash. All of a sudden, there's rat poison in every place. I was sicker than a dog Friday night. She ripped out all the thermostats in my my part of the house, and I tried to fix it, and she just ripped it out again. She swung at me with a hammer, and I restrained her, and I told her, knock your off, and then I cut her up, and she kept, she swung at me, swung at the door with a baseball bat, with a hammer and a meat cleaver. She's tearing my whole house up. I was sicker than a dog. I couldn't even hardly walk, so I went to a motel that night just so I could get some sleep, because I was too sick to mess with it. I've been messing with it for did you call the police on any of those occasions? No, I did not. What's her story? He packed up a suitcase on Friday and took off because they're done. She thought he was gone for good. She wants him to go buy him a pack of cigarettes. He says, no, she didn't have any money. So she says, I'm selling some of your tools so I can get a pack of cigarettes. He comes over to get his tools. She won't let him in. He did something to the back door. I don't know why. And then he broke that window there. What do you need out of here today? What are you here for today? I was here to make sure my tools didn't get thrown in the trash who just went by. Everything Work. I got, she's trying to so, throw. OK, let's get your stuff out, get it loaded in the truck. I'll have her sit over here so she won't bother me, OK? What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to keep you out of jail, OK? Because if you come back here, I understand it's your house. If you come back here and you guys start getting heated up and you hit her. I never hit her. I'm just saying, okay? I'm telling you, I never hit her. OK, let's go get your stuff. Young lady, hang on a second. Move over to that side of the wall. Sit down, all right? Down there? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We don't like to get involved with who can take what property. Generally, our suggestion is you take the things that you need to live on. That's mine. Put it back. That's mine, keep it. That's mine. Hey, hey, we're not fighting over stuff. I want you to get the stuff that you need to live on and you need to work on, OK? This is my TV. So you can see how this escalates rapidly, um, the arguments over property starting. Uh, TV stays. I purchased the TV go to from civil, Walmart. Got to go to civil court and fight that out. TV stays. Just put the TV back, you have the other one. Just taking tools and, and the clothes you need, and you guys can go to court over the TV and furniture and everything else. Uh, he's got a lot of his personal belongings out already. You can see in the, on the bottom corner of that window, just right of the door, the bottom left portion of the window, I guess when he had come here earlier prior to us getting here, uh, he was trying to get in the house. He got a little upset and broke the window there. Fortunately for him, it's not a crime to destroy your own property, so he won't be going to jail for that. Hey, Art, later on, will you call CPS and leave a message for them and let them know that she has drawn a picture of you on the wall, put your name on it, wrote Jailbird on it, and she's throwing knives at it. Okay? Chief, Those are the things that CPS. There's rat poison around all of a sudden. I've been sicker than a dog. Art, She's mm -hmm. trying to kill Art, me. 
CPS needs to know these things, okay? Okay. You need yeah. to let them know. Be rational with them. Don't yell at them, okay? All right. Otherwise, they're not going to respond to you. Uh, it looks like it's supposed to be a picture of Art. Yeah, it's Art. Uh, she, she has his name written above it. Jailbird on the right side of it there, and uh, it appears that she's either she's been throwing a, darts. So been throwing darts at it. Like knife blades to me. Uh, Sharp and long. You know, that's somewhat disturbing. I mean, obviously that's not normal behavior for most of us. Well, we appreciate your cooperation. No problem. Like I said, we're just gonna let him get a few some of his tools. Yeah. Uh, what's the story behind the picture on the wall? I mean, that was just a little disturbing. <laughs> but I thought it would be better that we throw darts at the wall than him. You know, better a bullseye, you know? You can go back inside. You know, this argument took place over a pack of cigarettes. Generally, it starts at breaking property and ends up in batteries, so hopefully the next contact they have with each other, they'll call us first. We've arranged an undercover agent to meet with a pharmaceutical pill dealer. I appreciate you doing this, man. I call yeah, Crystal Green. Your hand. Let me see your hand. Get on the ground. Down, 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 Get on the ground. Down, 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 Get on the ground. Down, 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 down. Yeah. Right now, we're going to go set up in a parking lot. We've arranged a undercover agent to meet with a pharmaceutical pill dealer, and uh, she's going to sell him some painkillers. Appears to be another female passenger seat. One female passenger seat. Therefore, this computer has the prescription. We're going to have to do the deal. She's got a script. Does he want me to walk over to her, or does he try to drive over to her? All right, there she is. She's walking up to the car right now. Black shirt, shorts. Remember, she's out of her car going to the to our car. Uh, hey, hey, girl, what's, what's going on? Right. What's going on with you? Let me put my red bag on. How are you? Good, what's going on? I just want to make sure you're not like, wearing a wire or anything like that. No, I'm straight. Go ahead. Control, control. Right, chill out. Chill out. Okay. Right. 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 You can touch me. You got, your, no. you got the blue? Yeah, the money. I'll flash you money. I appreciate you doing this, man. Yeah, yeah, put this one on? Yep. Uh, if you want to count them, I'll sit here for you. Yeah, okay. We'll count. Here, All switch. Right. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Should be 5-6 in there. Take down. I know, I feel you. You know, you know what I mean? I'm nervous, too, because I got ripped last time. I feel you. That's why I said, let me see the money, you know? Yeah, that's the last time I ripped that. I count them three times, so you're straight. Okay, I appreciate it. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Down, 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 down. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. He's got cuffs. Cuffs. Hands up. Get your hands up. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Who's that? Have a seat right here. My friend. Oh. Okay. Nicole, have a seat right here. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Do you know why you're here? No. Do you know the gentleman that was in the car right there? No. You never met him before? No. Why are you here today? He was going to give me some money. How much money did he give you? 500 Is there a reason why he gave you $500? My friend was told me to pick it up from him. Okay, and, and he gave you nothing for that $500, correct? No, sir. Okay. What if I were to tell you that that gentleman right there is a, a, a police officer, and that you've been talking to a police officer, and maybe that you had a little something more to do than him just loaning you $500? I'm sorry. So why are we really here? My friend asked me to do a favor for her. What was that favor? To get him something. What was it? Uh, pills. What kind of pills? Boxes. Nicole. He gave you $500 for 50 blues, did he not? Yes, sir. OK. All right, just hang out here just for a second, OK, with this deputy. Th this your medication? Here? Mine. OK, so the 50 that she had so, yes. came from you? Yes. OK, and this money is from, is this yours or is it hers? No, that's my money, normal money that I make okay. as a living. What was, uh, how much cut were you going to get from the pills that you gave her? I told you, $300. 300 of that was yours for fronting? Yes. OK. OK. All right. All right. She's got a wallet full of money. More than likely, this is typical. Either people will sponsor people or will give their prescription to somebody else to sell for her to make some money, and they probably both make a cut of it. What happened today with her? 
she was coming to get her hair done and she knew I had these and she asked me if I wanted to sell them to somebody. And I'm telling you, I'm short on cash because I, I, I'm on social security, my husband just passed away. So I saw a fast way to make some money and still have more of my pills left that I need. I have many issues. Okay. Many. I think one of the issues here today is I made is a boo-boo. I you, should you, never You committed ever. a felony of selling your prescriptions, I number one. I will never do it. Ever made a big error, ever, ever, ever in my life. Look at my record. Huge. I know. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm very sorry. And, and you don't even know this person. What, no. if, what if she robbed you or did something to hurt You're you? You're right. I could have got hurt. I'm a dummy. Stupid. I'm just like I was desperate for cash. I had this none. is not a way to make money. Whatever I can do to fix this, I will. Okay. I can't All right. We'll, we'll talk about that yes. later. Okay. Yes. Right now, at this point, you are under arrest. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're under arrest for sale of oxycodone. Okay. Am I going to jail? Well, that's what under arrest is. You're gonna you're gonna go to jail right now. 